it's that time. I got my seat covers in. So first things first, we're gonna open up the box, check out the seat covers. We're also gonna take the old seat covers off. The old seats, they're all tore up, have duct tape all over them. We'll just shred them up. Once I take the old seat covers off, we'll be taking the new seat covers on and rolling them down and then putting them together with these bad puppies. They're called hog ring pliers. And these are hog rings. It's this little bitty fastener looking thing. Inside the hog ring plier, you can see there's these little bitty slots right there. And it clips onto them like so. When attaching the seat covers to the seats, there is a metal rod in the foam of the seats and the bolsters and everything that these hog rings go to. And all I'm gonna be doing is, while I'm disassembling the old seat covers, just kind of take mental note of where the hog rings are and installing these. Now, I will clip through the seat cover. Sometimes there's a special piece of fabric or they'll extend it or it'll just go right through the vinyl itself. And then you clip it in. And it makes this nice little triangle thing and it creates a little ring. This is the driver's seat we're gonna dismantle first. We have to take apart all these little accessory bits. Then we're gonna come up underneath, under here, and find where the hog rings are at. And snip them with just uh, like wire cutters. Peel the seats off. See how badly damaged these are all tore up. All ripped up like this doesn't cause too much issue. The place where I got the seat covers made said so they make lots of them, so they understand how they're built. So we'll probably be in Fat City. Now we have a messed up spot like this right here. I'm not gonna do anything to fix that. I don't really have anything to fix it, but the seat cover itself just going over and holding it in should be well enough. So first things first, let's take the little plastic bits off. Darn it, I almost got them all without breaking it. Oh well, that's fine. I hope I actually needed to take that off. It looks like I just have to take these bolts off and the other two on the other side, and then I'll take this backrest off. Inside here, I have to disconnect this. It's the cable that is connected to here. You can see, but that makes it so the seat folds forward. But in order to detach this from this, I need to disconnect that first. I got it disconnected. I was able to just put a screwdriver in there and pry it ever so slightly, pull that through onto unbolting it. My goal now is to take these tabs here and straighten them out and basically just pull it, pull the uh, vinyl off. Here you can see I straightened this one out and just pulling it over. When they uh, folded this over and clipped it all in, there is this little piece of wire in here and they tightened it up so it cinched up nice and tight. So I cut those wires and now I'm just going through and disconnecting the little clips. I got all these little spiky clips all undone, undone. I gotta flip it over and keep working it until we get the both seat covers off.
So here's an example of an area where it's gonna be pinned in. So down in here, if you ever are curious how uh, seats have this like nice crease right here and everything's nice and tucked in, it's because there's a piece of fabric that's stitched on right here and it's pulled in nice and tight into these creases. Well, that is what deep inside there, sometimes there's a rod that is uh, sewn into that piece of fabric and then it's hog ring out through. And you hog ring it as you're slipping the seat cover on. You turn the seat cover inside out like a sock and you position it on the top, get it nice, and then you roll it down. And as you're rolling it down, you hit these hog ring points and you'll just snip in as you're bringing it down. center of the rear seats. That's it. Woo! That's exactly what I was after. I need to put this somewhere clean. And I don't have anywhere clean that I want to put it in. That's the backrest of the back seat. I love it. The French stitch looks really good. Love the hound suit. So I need a seat. And the driver and the passenger should technically be the same. Okay, looks like I'll need to reuse the metal rods. They don't have them installed, which is fine because I kept them. That's how I had to do it on my last car. I'm not a big fan of the piping, but you know, it's original to it and I dig it. I like that every other seam is French seam. French seam just means it's double reinforced seam. The piping is this piece here, but I love how it turned out with the hound's tooth insert. That's what I wanted. Looks so awesome. Oh, I'm excited. This is so cool. And then for the part that your butt sits on. Cool. It's got all the flaps. Here is the pieces that come through. And I was saying there's a uh, a piece of fabric. This is that piece of fabric. Looks beautiful. Beautiful. I asked for a couple yards of material so I can wrap the dash.
You're really gonna mess my lighting up, bud. Rusty. So the goal right now is to clean them up, get the rust off, and then repaint them.
Well, you guys weren't looking. I sanded the rest of it and painted it. It needs one more coat. I need to flip them over and paint them on the other side. I also got the crunchy bits. These runners here, they didn't want to slide very well. And I was able to clean all the grit out and the little ball bearings in there to uh, roll a little easier. these seat covers there's supposed to be a one of these pieces of fabric right here or here that goes into here to suck that butt down to have that crease but it both of them didn't have it um, I don't know why kind of annoying but that's life the other thing I just noticed when looking at this this has been sewn in I can just rip the seam but I don't want to sews all this together and that isn't gonna work because if I undo that seam then all of a sudden this will this edge where the piping is will come undone I just might have to go in with the scissors and just cut it right here not really a big deal just kind of frustrating you know you pay so much money there are some things where like I have a sense of understanding like the foam here has been squished and shrunk over time. So when these are put on, they're a little oversized and look baggy. The seat covers I've done in the past, you typically have the seats with you. So you can get exact measurements. You'd be able to have foam that you can fill in, kind of boost up these bolsters here. It just kind of sucked. Then another part that was a little annoying is there's supposed to be pieces of fabric here, like little uh, strings, if you will, that come down and it pulls from here, this edge, and it kind of keeps this tucked in. I can just take the fabric, the front here, this vinyl, and pull it down, but it doesn't have that same effect. Because you want to have this like crisp line here with the pull down. And it's just these little details that are important when doing interiors. I opted to get the seat covers made because I don't really have a working sewing machine or in the fabric, just kind of sucks. I don't have a sewing shop, I'm not an upholsterer. I know one or two things about it. I know how to get away with certain things and hide certain crimes. I'm making the best of it. This isn't a show car, this is just gonna be my summer daily. I still want it to look nice. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shady, my bros rock. No breaks, we go, 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 go. Don't shade, that's a no, no, no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. 
You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the back, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I'm a real one, my day one. Try speak up, can't say none. Try dig dirt, there ain't none. I make the money that save up. 10 to 80, my save ones. Take to the top on the base one. New car, race on. Fast lane, pace on. With the boo, y'all, that's a flex. Now I'm human, I ain't from another planet. I'ma teleport, might vanish. I'ma wake up, do damage. Join number seven, he's bored though. Working all night, need more though. I remember nights I was poor though. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I just got done with the other seat. This is the passenger, or this is the driver's seat that I first started with. And you can see I really pulled this over and there's all this excessive material here. And it's not supposed to be like that. These places where it's been pinned through, it's actually supposed to be here. And what I did differently on that other seat that I learned from this seat, and I should have just went back and did it, and that's what I'm gonna do now. The hog rings that pull this material down to make this a nice tight fit, I actually went and put in more hog rings and grabbed the material and sunk it even further, which in turn made this bolster tighter, made this whole area tighter, which made for a nicer look. Now, what I'm gonna do is take this off and basically redo that. What I'm a little worried about is now that that extra material, it's gonna come up here, and I'm really hoping we don't see any holes here. I have a feeling we will. My only saving grace is that because it's such a tight cab inside there, the side of the car is gonna be right here. You know, it's gonna be all black carpet. You won't see it, but 
it's just kind of a point of pride where it's like, man, that kind of is a bummer. Now looking at this, I'd see this little area. This whole side here, because this is the driver's side where they had to enter and exit, is just so worn out. It really needs to be filled up with foam. But again, this is my daily driver. I'm not going to worry too much. This isn't going to be a million dollar show car or even a $10,000 show car. Now I got that all readjusted. Looks a lot tighter. Kind of like how that looks. I really am bummed that it doesn't have that piece of fabric that's right there. The way we're gonna secure it is just by sitting on it. And I got a little stain right here. What I was saying about, you can see the little holes here. They're definitely noticeable from down here, but from up here, you ain't seeing anything. 